Hello and welcome to Never Enough Cruising. In today's vlog, we leave our mooring and we head to Pewsey to get up some water and to drop off some rubbish. But we leave our lovely mooring spot that we had here at uh, Wilcott. It's been absolutely beautiful here. And last night we had owls all over the place, lots and lots of owls. Bats and owls. So we're now approaching bridge 117, Wilcott Bridge. It was lovely and bright and sunny this morning when I got up and walked the dogs. I was up at half past five this morning. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's gone overcast now, a bit of a shame. But fingers crossed we'll get there before it rains. Sunday morning lying. Oh, yeah, Sunday morning lying. It's a beautiful little cottage there. It's just had a, a lot of clearance done around it. It's very pretty. It's a suspension bridge. Yeah. I don't know how good the wood is on it, though. No, looks a bit. <laughs> I don't know when the last person walked, walked over, over it. No. Absolutely. That's bridge one one six. This is the edge of Stowell Park, yeah. which is owned, <laughs> which is owned by the Rothschilds. Yeah, 
we've got a pound or two. Very pretty here. And that's um that's us saying farewell to Wilcott. As we move on today. Wilcott. 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 Yeah. I thought you said Wilcott. No, Wilcott. Um, that's Stowell Park. So it's very pretty. Walk around the edge of it with the dogs. I think we might get some rain this morning. Yeah. It started out really nice and bright and sunny. I sat down having a cup of tea and the sun was in my eyes. Yeah. Thumper wonders what's happening. <laughs> and then start it with it. We're off to uh, a the new water water point. point. <laughs> yeah, we are off to. We are going to do We're, a water we are, point. We are the emptiest we have ever been. We haven't run out yet, but it's <laughs> getting close. Yeah. We're rocking and rolling, aren't we, dear? Rocking and rolling. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we are going to the water point today then to find another mooring. But um, I don't know, we're supposed to be having thunder. We had thunder well, we last had, night. Yeah, we had a good downpour last night. Yeah. So I thought today was supposed to have been the best day of the weekend. Well, fingers crossed we'll be there. And for all you out there that are keeping check on the date, today's the 14th of June. Yeah. Sunday, so, um, the 14th of June. So that's, um, so that's good. Moving on again. I had an email last week, tail end of last week, from uh, the local the area manager for CRT asking how we were and um, could we give him an update after I when I broke my ribs back in February. So I emailed him back and I said, we've already moved, unlike some of the others. Trip on me, yeah, that was from the tree. Yeah. From the tree. Squirrel. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, so we're all um, up to date with CRT now, and uh, thanks for your help when I did break me ribs. Yes, much um, appreciated. Much allowing appreciated. us to have an extension on that morning. Yeah. Unfortunately, it turned into about three months because of lockdown, but uh, I, I don't think I could have moved the boat with broken ribs. I yeah. definitely couldn't have pulled on a rope. No, yeah, absolutely not. It was so. bad enough on the day I did it when I had to finish off tying the ropes up. But uh, that'll teach me, won't it? it will. Or some of them say that'll learn me. <laughs> Which is why he's not allowed to move the boat on his own. I was Just carrying some uh, 20 litre water cans the other day just to give us a little bit of carry take us up to our 14 days and um, that was pulling on me ribs quite a bit after the second lot that was it couldn't do it anyway we're off to pastures new as they and say a water tap as long as there's nobody moored on it yes i did walk past it last night and somebody was on it and then it started hammering it down with rain so didn't need a shower when i got back to the boat just needed a towel after having a cold tour, there goes the old uh, Terry. Terry Dactyl. Well, we are in Spooky Woods now, aren't we? Uh, just coming up to it, under, under the next bridge. Yeah, so we're heading towards Spooky Woods. Uh, two herons we've just seen come down. Or was it the same one? No, the other one went back behind us. Oh, Shows how much I took it. No, it's on him. I love the way you look under the trees, it's where the animals trim the trees, isn't it? They reach up oh, yeah. as far as they can reach and get a nice flat edge underneath the tree. The GoPro, GoPro can pick that up, look. Oh, you can see it on that one as well. And just round here is where that big oak came down at Christmas. There's um, an old pillbox from the Second World War. Slowly being um, absorbed by the vegetation there. I could have done a pointy finger then, come on, there it is. Yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is, as he says. There it is. It's just sort of there. Pointy finger. That's for you, Mark. Yeah. We've got an S bend now, and then uh, through Spooky Woods. Bad 
they can still hear the birds. Yeah, so I heard the owls as well when I was walking the dogs earlier this morning. There's Terry over on the side. Oh yeah, he's down there on the right hand side. Just opposite him on the left hand side is where the old oak tree came down and come across the canal. Just before Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah, it was before Christmas. Christmas. Right. But you can see it's on the left hand side, they see the evidence where it's cut through. It was and before, then, before we went to Scotland. Yeah, and there's the heron. There he goes. Oh, Jerry. But yes, that's the oak tree that came down, caused a. All the way across here. Yeah, yeah big hoo ha completely across the cut but as it was on the Rothschild land it, it didn't stay down there very long no, did it? No, you could go very big tracks um, digger with a grab, big grab on it just pulled it out in one mm. he didn't want the boaters having the oak <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't like boaters He certainly doesn't like him having his wood, whether it's falling down or not. Fair dues is his wood, I suppose. So, here we are, coming into Spooky Woods, through the bridge. Now, the old tales have it that there was a prison around here many, many years ago, before I was even a glint in my dad's eye. and. Um, still in the times when they used to hang people and they used to walk them across this bridge up to the junction in the road as it comes out of Pusey and um, that's where they used to hang them which is nice I don't know what uh, kind of crimes they would have done whether it was just nicking a loaf of bread or trying to survive what it was like in those days. So yes, a lot of uh, condemned souls walk that bridge. Yeah. Is that why they call it Spooky Woods? Mm, it's probably still haunting the area, I expect. Yeah. So would you if you had to? You're not getting your leg pulled, you're getting your neck pulled, aren't you? This is coming up to bridge 115. 115. It's a nice mooring, but there's no solar down here at all. All the trees are overhanging. But it must still be a a bit shallow on the side, the back end of that boat side. Mm. Look at that path going up and into the spooky woods. That's it, 115, that's the old convicts bridge. And we've come down as slow as we can now. One, because it's early on Sunday morning. And two, because there's more boats. And uh, I don't know what these moorings are like for pins being pulled out. So we'll take it very, very slow. us through spooky woods and next what we've got here is the winding hole as we head on into Pusey. The moorings for the Pusey Boaters Club, isn't it? Pusey Boat Club, yeah. yeah. The Pusey in the water here. Yeah. 
This is uh, what happens if the camera can pick it up. The diesel. It's not us. Clarifying. So we're going into it. So I wonder if there's um. Someone's pumped the drill down. Yeah. Not a good, not a good thing to do. And this is a 72 foot winding hole here. It's a bit wide than that actually. Well, yeah, I think we've got about another 20 foot when we're stretched out across it. And some of them are very tight, but this one's quite good. The um, I've got a youngster. What is that? What is what? In the tree. Yeah, that's the one that was moaning about. It. Yeah, it's just taken its offspring. Oh, is it? Yeah, as I just oh. said, it, the, the um, crow just grabbed that chick out of the nest. I don't know if he caught it on camera, but it came, came oh, quite sorry, close. Crazy, I suppose that's nature for you. Very pretty, isn't it? And this is Bridge 114 coming into Pusey Wharf where the water point and the rubbish is. And hopefully, nobody's on the water point so we can just get straight in. And there's the water point, Alson and disposal. 35 minutes later, that's us all completely filled up with water. And we're off now to find a mooring. <laughs> 